Bybit hedge mode, what is it and how does it work? We'll go through that in this video. So come to the Bybit trading system, derivatives, and then choose the currency pair that you want to trade. Once you're in the trading system, we need to go to the settings in the top right hand corner and then click the mode that we want. So if we click this, we have a choice between one way mode or hedge mode. So you can choose them here. You can switch between them only if you don't have any positions open. So if you do have a position open and it is using one of these, you will have to close that position before you can actually change between one way mode and hedge mode. So that's where you can change between them. We'll go through what the difference is right now, but also with the Bybit Unified Trading Account, which everyone is upgrading to and using now, you can see Unified Trading Account. If I click on the type of margin mode that I'm using, you'll see that in the isolated margin mode, you can use both one way and hedge mode. In cross margin, you can use one way and hedge mode as well. But in portfolio margin, you can only use one way. So again, you can change between these no problem. But if you have any open positions, you won't be able to change. So this is the margin mode, which I go through in other videos. I'll leave all of those videos down in the description for you. So choose the margin mode and also the trading mode up here that you want before opening any positions. What exactly is the difference between one way mode and hedge mode? Well, hedge mode lets you take a long position and a completely separate short position in exactly the same asset at the same time. So the difference with one way is you can only open initially a long position or a short position, and then you can close that position and then start a new position after you've closed it. With hedge, long and short, separate trades at exactly the same time. So with one way mode right here, as you can see, what we're looking at is we can open a long position of $5,000, for example. And then if we want to close out a part of that position, what we can do is sell short or close. It's actually known as close on the Bybit trading system. So you can take a long position of 5,000, you can close out a thousand, you can close out another thousand, and then you can close the whole thing out if you want. But if you take a long position of five and then you close out a thousand, your net position is $4,000 long. That's the same position. Now, if you're long, you can close it down, but you can't take a short position unless you close the long and then open a new short. With hedge mode, what you can do is have a long and a short, which are separate at exactly the same time. So you can go long, you can go short, separate positions. Now the net effect of that is exactly the same as this, right? So your net position is long 5,000, short 1,000, and your net long 4,000. But they are separate positions that you can manipulate individually. So you can add collateral to them individually, you can close them out individually. So they are separate positions, long and short in exactly the same asset. One way mode, you go long or you go short, and then you can manipulate that single position. I'll show you a live example of using this then on the Bybit trading system. If you haven't got Bybit yet, check the link down in the description. You can get a deposit and trading bonus up to $30,000. It depends where you live in the world though, that offer may not be available for you. I'll leave some other links below for some exchanges that I use. Uh, but what we can do here is go to settings, then we can go to hedge mode. So I'm gonna switch over to hedge mode. And then what we're gonna do is just open a position. I've got one X leverage here, so not using any leverage. And then I'll open a $30 position right here. So I'm gonna open long, just confirm that. And that opens a long for me. Now what I'm also gonna do is open a short, same amount, $30. So I open short, confirm that. And I have two separate positions right here, a long and a short, which are completely separate from each other. I can reverse them, I can close them here as usual, but these are completely separate. So if I want to add some collateral to these positions, I can do that separately on each of them right here. I can increase the margin, decrease the margin, take money in and out of those positions separately. So what I'm gonna do is close them separately as well. So what we can do here is actually say close right here, and then you can close short. So that actually takes, let's say, 25% of your long position, you can close short and that is going to close the long position right here because you're closing your long position right here. If you wanna close this position, the short position, you wanna close long right here. So this close is to close your open positions right here, closing these orders. So close your long here by going short a little bit in that position, close your short, 
by going long, close long like this. This is opening new positions. You can edit all of the positions down here as well. So what I'm gonna do is just close buy, which is this on the right hand side. Should be able to see that right here. Close buy, I'm just gonna close the whole thing by market order, 100% confirm and that's closed. Now notice that only affects that specific order. So I actually took a short position there or essentially closed out short my long position. My short position is unaffected, so I can let that run in the market. I'm just gonna market order that. 100% close, confirm. Both the orders are now out of the system. Links below to deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use. If you want more like this, the Crypto Investor course has 300 videos on trading and private groups where you can ask me questions as well. I'll link that below. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.